California is now the first state in the nation to require vaccines or weekly COVID tests for all teachers and staff. This evening, there is mixed reaction over that announcement. ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner is live outside of San Diego Unified Spreckles Elementary School, where the district says that a similar policy is already in place. Jennifer. Yeah, the district already requires proof of vaccination or testing every two weeks. Now, earlier today, I spoke with John Cox, who is running for governor in the California recall election. He does not agree with today's announcement. California is now the first state in the country to require that educators and school staff provide proof of COVID-19 vaccination or undergo weekly testing. We think this is the right thing to do, and we think this is a sustainable way to keeping our schools open. The vaccine is still not available for kids 12 and under. Nearly 94,000 child cases were reported between July 29th and August 5th, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. And CDC data shows about 200 were hospitalized every day. Wednesday's news of a vaccine order has the support from at least one of the major teachers unions in the state. The CTA reports that nearly 90 percent of its members are already vaccinated. I think this is unnecessarily harming our teachers harming the school system. San Diego businessman and Republican recall candidate John Cox spoke to ABC 10 News Wednesday just after the announcement. Cox opposes the vaccine mandate for teachers and calls the governor a power hungry politician who wants to control every aspect of people's lives. The teachers that have chosen not to get vaccinated have probably done that, made that decision because not because they want to hurt children but because they believe that it's not in their best interest uh, because of issues they have or because the fact that they probably had the infection before and feel their natural immunity is superior to that of the infection uh, the vaccine. And, and also today, former San Diego mayor and Republican recall candidate Kevin Faulkner said in part that a mandate is not the answer. We also reached out to GOP recall candidate Larry Elder, who said in part that vaccines should be a matter of choice. Now, coming up tonight on ABC 10 News at 6 p.m., we spoke to a local infectious disease expert about today's news of a vaccine mandate for educators. Reporting live tonight, Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Jen.